YouTube, what's up? Back again for another daily fishing video here on Andrew Upshaw Fishing. Guys, I have a very, very, very special video for you today. You know, as fishermen, sometimes we do really, really smart stuff. And sometimes we do really, really dumb stuff. And sometimes when you're on a tidal river like I am today, especially on a holiday weekend, and, um, you know, there's boats passing, big waves going, sometimes bad stuff happens and today is one of those things so i pulled up to the the dock and that happened i dropped my power poles went inside i was actually working on the, on a video for a minute and uh yeah tide started coming back in lifted my poles up and now my boat's floating off so but with that being said i'm gonna teach y'all how to get your boats back in that situation but real fast though if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you do that real quick it's real easy all you have to do is hit that little subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner so you know i can tell you from experience this is not the first time this has happened to me and if you're a bass fisherman and you have power poles and you don't tie your boat up all the time it's probably happened to you too so what i've learned over my years is there's one thing i always keep in my truck and that is an extra power pole switch just in case something like this were to happen now many of you are going to say man i just jump in the water and swim for it well i don't swim that's one thing I'm not that kind of guy so what i like to do is i'm gonna what i'll end up doing is lifting these poles up and then i'm gonna take this flipping stick here and i'm gonna start flipping my boat and i'm gonna try to hook very hard objects you know more so like the trolling motor troll motor cable to try to get this nose around not sure if it'll work boat's kind of far away you know i actually thought about going out on that sketchy dock right there but it's probably why i'm gonna call it a sketchy dock it's pretty sketchy so let's see if we can get the boat back i really don't know i really really don't know all right guys here goes nothing. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get our power pole switch. We gotta get it ready. I'm just gonna set it down here. It's really important not to have a bait on your hook. You just gotta make sure you have a hook. I actually prefer to pull my boat back with braid. So I'm gonna first try to get the boat hooked. So I'm gonna make some really accurate flips. This isn't a big punch weight, it's just a little flipping weight. And we're hooked, guys, just like that. All right, so here's the big important part. You hit that power pole switch. Get the poles up. I actually hooked my rod and reel. You don't want to put too much pressure on it. You want to pull it really, really slow, okay? And you're just going to pull the boat around. You see how the nose is actually turning? You might have to pick the poles up a little bit more if they're starting to catch. But as you can tell, we're getting it here. You know, that I'll get all kinds of concerning questions all the time as, man, why do you keep so many rod and reels in your boat, in your truck? Well, that's one really good reason to have an extra rod and reel in your truck. But so many times, I'm telling you guys, having that power pole switch in my truck has saved my butt. I, I mean, like literally, this happens to me at least five times a year. You know, some kind of weird anomaly of my boat coming you know power poles lifting or tied or you know some kind of weird thing and i literally keep that power pole switch in there for that reason so it's always good to be prepared i know it's kind of funny and like we're kind of making a joke of it but guys i can't tell you how many times this has happened to me and i've seen it happen to other anglers so being prepared every time you're on the water is really really important have you a spare power pole switch they don't cost too terribly much even your little lanyard keep it in your truck from time to time it will save you the next time you're out there but overall not a bad way but hey you know next video you see probably be announcing the winners to the giveaway and uh i have a feeling i might even add an extra prize in there so if you've made it this far in the video make sure you go re-watch the giveaway video and 
figure out how to get entered into the giveaway because I promise you, you want to be a part of that. But when you're out here on the water, there's a couple other things that you need to make sure you keep in your truck as well if you're out there on the water. Extra power pole switch goes a long ways. I always keep an extra case of water in my boat at all, or in my truck at all times. So you never know when you're gonna run out of water. You can't rely on having gas stations. You know, this week here at Chesapeake, we don't have a gas station anywhere close to us. And we actually are launching at a ramp right next to the house. So staying hydrated, being prepared for any given situation is really, really important. And this week and today, it, all that preparation paid off. Didn't pay off in a tournament win or any of that, but I didn't have to go swimming to get my boat. And uh, it made my life a lot easier. So overall, today's a good day, even if I didn't get any bites today. Today is a good day because I didn't have to, have to go swimming to get my boat. So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you learned how to get your boat the next time you're on the water and maybe you won't get stuck like I did.